Breaking news. Four subsidy is back. Obasan job blast Bola Tinibu for trying to deceive Nigerians. Guys, it's happening. The former president of Nigeria, Chief Olusegun Obasanjo, has said that the fall subsidy removed in June 2023 by President Bola Tinibu's administration has come back due to the inflation. Obasanjo disclosed this in a recent interview with Financial Times. In the interview, Obasanjo faulted how Tinibu woke up one early morning and decided to remove fall subsidy without thinking about the implementations. According to him, the government should put measures in place before the fall subsidy removal. It seems that there is a lot of work that needs to be done, not just by waking up one morning and you say, oh, you've removed the fall subsidy. Because of inflation, the subsidy that, the subsidy that was removed has not gone. It has come back. The, president, the former president stressed that there must be investor confidence in Nigeria. You have to go from transactional economy to a transformational economy. His remark comes amid the ongoing hunger protest in Nigeria, where he reiterated that Nigeria is currently sitting on a keg of gun, uh, pow uh, gun power. Who knows? It might it might blow at any point in time. So Obasanjo, the former president of Nigeria had advised President Bola Tinibu's government that Nigeria may be sitting on a keg of gun, pow uh, of gun power when he expressed his concerns about the youth's unrest due to unemployment, also warned President Bola Tinibu's government to create more opportunities. A lot of Nigerians since August 1st have stormed the streets in the hashtag end bad governance protests across several states and they've continued to express their grievances despite arrest and clamped down by the police and other security agencies. The youth have remained unresolved. Now, it seems that this country is sitting on a keg of gunpowder and Obasanjo has also reiterated that those profiting from the fall importation would likely attempt to hinder the progress of Dangote Petroleum Refinery based in Lagos. It seems that some some crude oil mafia are trying to hinder the progress of Dangote refinery. In the interview, uh, Obasanjo described the Dangote refinery as a project that should inspire both Nigerians and foreigners to invest in Nigeria. Obasanjo's remarks follows allegations by Aliko, Gan Aliko Dangote, the president of the Dangote group, who claimed that certain mafias are working to obstruct the 20 billion refinery, where he described the country's resilience on crude oil as a deadly mistake. And he believed that Nigeria as a country has made a deadly mistake by us putting all our eggs in one basket because we've been relying on oil for too long. We've been relying on crude oil for too long. We need to look into other aspects. We have agriculture, but no one is paying attention to agriculture. Agriculture is there. But no one is even looking at agriculture because they feel that, oh, it won't give Nigeria money. And that's the way people get to loot a lot of money. So Obasanjo reiterated in his own stern that a lot is going on in Nigeria and President Bola Tinibu needs to be very, very careful before things will turn upside down for him. He also exposed the cabals working against the success of Dangote's refinery where he obviously noted that there are some forces working against the success of the $20 billion uh, Dangote refinery. Obasanjo's remark comes amid uh, the nationwide protest in the country. According to him, powerful cabals in the Nigeria's oil and gas sector are determined to frustrate the refinery's progress because it threatens their lucrative business of importing refined petrol. And Aliko Dangote's investment in the refinery should encourage both non-Nigerians and Nigerians to invest in this country. If those who are selling or, supply or supplying refined products for Nigeria feel that way, will lose the lucrative opportunity, then they will also make every effort to get him frustrated. So it seems that Nigeria has made a very costly mistake by ignoring agriculture, which should have been the centerpiece of our economic development. The former president's warning 
comes at a time when Dangote's refinery is grappling with a crisis in crude oil supply, despite President Bola Tinibu's directive last week to the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited to sell crude to Dangote refinery and other local refineries in, Niger in, in the Nigerian currency, the refinery's challenges persist as Dangote is yet to come to a final conclusion with the federal government on how they would go about this. But we know that Dangote has really gone out of his way to, to ease uh, the sufferings of the masses by coming up with his own refinery but it's obvious that cabals in Nigeria are frustrating this refinery. And now we've seen that Dangote is having a crude supply crisis. Yes, Dangote is having crude supply crisis because there is no crude oil for him to refine. The management of Dangote in, in, in Industry Limited insisted that the international oil companies are also frustrating crude oil supply to the Dangote company because they seem to be benefiting. So they don't want Dangote's refinery to thrive. Also, the NNPC is not giving crude oil to Dangote. And then when you ask the NNPC boss, they will say, oh, they don't have crude oil to give to Aliko Dangote and all of that. Well, the, president, the former president, Odusha Gobasanjo, has reiterated that all these things need to stop. Dangote's refinery has been embroiled with controversy ever since you know he unveiled his refinery and there have been al allegations of plots by some persons to sabotage Dangote's refinery and also we saw what happened in Lagos when Dangote's refinery uh, caught fire mm, that really you know hindered Dangote's progress for quite some time but Dangote's refinery on a norm is a groundbreaking endeavor and Dangote's refinery has really shown his commitment to you know to change our Nigeria's petroleum sector to the benefit of all Nigerians he wants to renovate the Nigeria's petroleum sector and Dangote's refinery is a project set to enhance economic activities in the petroleum sector that would significantly boost our Nigeria's gross domestic product, that's the GDP, and practically increase revenue across various socio-economic levels, thereby benefiting the entire nation, not only Dangote. So the president, the FG, and other relevant authorities should handle this Dangote's refinery with utmost care and they need to support Dangote's refinery as well. So Olushego Abasanjo has also made this call. So guys, I'm dropping here. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.